Welcome back. I hope you're doing great. As a part of this video, we'll understand regular expressions in Linux. First and foremost thing is, what is regular expression? Can you think of regular expression is nothing but a sequence of characters that specifies a search pattern in text. Other way of looking at the a regular expression is it is nothing but a pattern for a matching string that follows some pattern. Why do we really need regular expression? We do use regular expression in multiple places. For example, let us say you have a log file. Whenever you are running any application, obviously log file will be created, right? As a part of the log file, we are trying to search a particular error. That is where we can use the regular expression. This is one of the several use cases of a regular expression. In Linux, in order to help for pattern matching, we do have different symbols like dot, caret, dollar, star, backslash, braces, and also question mark. Dot replaces any character. Caret matches start of a string. Dollar matches end of a string. Star will match up zero or more times of a preceding character. Backslash represents a special characters. Whenever you want to group together the different expressions, you can use the braces. And if you want to match up exactly one character, that is when you can use the question mark. But the question is, can we use all these symbols on their own? Not really. In order to work on the regular expression, we do have different commands like grep, set, awk. You have to use these symbols along with these Linux commands to match a pattern, to do different aspects of the regular expression, we need to combine these commands with these symbols. Let us look at grep at a very high level as a part of this particular video. So what is grep? Grep is nothing but a global regular expression print. Nice name, isn't it? If you want to use the grep, for a regular expression or matching a pattern, you need to follow this particular syntax. The syntax consists of four parts. First part is the grep command itself. Second part, you can provide the options. The third part, you have to provide the string to search. And the fourth part, you have to provide either a file name, or name of the files or path in which you are trying to search the pattern. Let us look at some of the examples of a regular expression along with the grep. As I indicated in my earlier slide, you need to use a caret symbol along with the grep to search for a text or a string to identify a pattern starting with that particular character which we are specifying. Means if you want to search for a string starting with a particular letter, it may be A, it may be B, it may be T, you can use a caret symbol and try to search for that particular pattern or a string. Look at this. I have used grep here and then caret symbol. Then I'm specifying T. And this is the name of the file. So after executing this command, here we have two strings which are starting from capital T. So if you use grep along with the caret symbol, it will help us to identify our search for the strings starting with a specified character. In this case, we have specified a capital T. Sometimes 
you do have a use case where you want to search for a string ending with particular character that is when you can use a dollar if you look at the way i'm using here i'm using a grep then a then dollar then this is the name of the file so with this we are trying to search for strings which are ending with a you can see karnataka kerala telangana maharashtra and varisa all of them are ending with a moving on if you want to search for a string in a given file we can use a grep and you can specify a pattern and a file name so when you specify a pattern in this case we are just saying w and name of the file this will identify all the occurrences of this pattern in a file in this case cosmos1.txt has only one line within that capital w w and w three times if you see w and w are highlighted here so if you want to search for a pattern you can say grep and then pattern then the file it will search for a particular pattern in that file in the previous case you see capital w was not highlighted that is because that was case sensitive now if you want to make your grep command case insensitive then all you have to do is use hyphen i with this immaterial of which case they are the patterns will be searched and displayed for you awesome isn't it so there are some occasions where you want to just get the count of the pattern you are searching for you really don't want to see them you just want to get the count for example now assuming any youngster has written a love letter for his girlfriend in that case if techy girlfriend wants to identify how many times my friend has used honey she can go ahead and use grep command and say honey before that say hyphen c and provide the file name then you will get to know how many times honey is repeated i just took an example so that it becomes interesting otherwise there are many instances wherein you have to count a particular pattern in a file in that case you can use this option along with the grep next option would be hyphen n what does it do it will search for a pattern you are trying to search along with that it will also display the line number of a file in which you are trying to search awesome isn't it so far we did a pattern search only in the files what if somebody wants to search the pattern in the directory that is when you can use a recursive option with hyphen r then provide the pattern then just provide the directory name in which you want to search for that pattern it will recursively iterate through all the directories and search for the pattern in this case we are trying to search for a string called manipur in this particular folder this particular folder may have multiple files excellent then we'll see all of these commands as a part of the hands on thank you mm -hmm.